Hi everybody, my name is Doug. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can fix a squeaky bed frame. Let's dive in. So my wife and I have had this bed frame for a little while and we really like it, but about once a year it starts to get squeaky after it's been used for 12, 12 or so months. And I'll put a card up in the corner if you want to see my review of this particular bed frame called the Giselle bed frame. So I need to do something to reduce the squeakiness, just the nuts and bolts squeaking, the joints squeaking, those kind of things. So let's check on what we can do about that. So this is kind of a quick and dirty video, so I'm not doing a lot of editing, and the lighting might be a little funny, hence the insane close-up here. Uh, something you're going to have to do is remove literally every single bolt and every single screw. So this bed frame uses Allen wrenches or hex wrenches. I've just got a little hex wrench tool here I can use to take those out. So go ahead and remove every single nut or bolt, not all at once, <laughs> one at a time. And once you get the first one out, I'll tell you what to do. A couple of things you're going to need in addition to the hex wrench tool I showed you is a bucket, like an ice cream bucket, something like that, and then some sort of lubricant. Now the one that I prefer is blaster multi-purpose lubricant, and the important thing is you want something that has Teflon in it, uh, because you're going to spray this on the nuts and bolts to prevent the squeaking and some of the joints as well. For the spraying part, you're going to want some sort of eye protection because we're going to be spraying this down into our bucket. Please note that I am not a professional chemist and I do not work for any of these companies. So use the product at your own risk and use uh, common sense reading all the warning labels. So you'll want to take your product and shake it so that it's nice and shook up. There's a little red straw that you insert like so. Sorry, I'm looking at this upside down. If it doesn't quite line up, I apologize. And then you'll want to take the uh, nut or bolt or screw that you're working with and spray it. But you don't want to get your hands exposed, so you can either use gloves or as kind of a redneck solution, you can just slip your hand into a baggie, a Ziploc bag, and hold it that way. Oop, dropped it. Just spray the lubricant directly onto the nut or bolt. It kind of foams up, and you've got your bucket behind it so that you don't get it on your carpet. Then you screw the nut or bolt back in that you just took out, and you're going to repeat that for literally every single nut, bolt, or screw on the entire bed frame, doing it one at a time. It is a little tedious, but trust me, it will be worth it. Now, I can't guarantee your bed frame will be completely squeak free, but I do bet you this goes a long way. Check the description box if you want to see links to the products that I am using to make this happen. Take a paper towel and just pat it down so that it's not leaking. And then at the very end, you'll want to go and make sure everything is really nice and tight. Tighten all those screws firmly. Well, it took me about an hour, but I am now done disqueakifying my bed frame. And there is still a slight squeak, and I know I didn't do a before squeak test. You'll have to take my word for it, it is a lot better. Now don't get me wrong, this isn't a perfect fix. If I really push down, I can force it to make a little noise, uh, but again, it's a lot less than it was when I first started working on it. When I first started working on it, it was like, hurry, every time I sat on it. I will put links in the description box to the product that I used for my desqueakifying. If you like practical videos like this about mattresses, bed frames, getting better sleep, those kind of things, please subscribe to the channel and please click the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching.